Hello and welcome to another Helios short clip. This time for the major release of Helios 2023. This short video will be about the generation of file names for exported documents or for neutral formats that are created from documents from Helios. This is the case, for example, when printing or converting. I will show you the possibilities using the file export. We have a single document here. This document is assigned to two projects. We now say that we want to export this file. In the first step, you can see that the dialog for the file export has changed a lot. I show you the options for attribute mapping first. You can configure them directly here. This is what we are doing now. What many users will be pleased about, we can now also use, for example, article attributes in the file name for export. For example, I take the article number here. We can include fixed text such as an underscore. We can use document attributes, for example, the document number. What may also be interesting for some users, there is now also the possibility to use project attributes and folder attributes. I now demonstrate this as an example for the project number and confirm with OK. I have now configured the attributes mapping from which the file name is generated. We choose OK. I want to export this file. Then we get the following dialog. There you can see the defined article assignment and also the defined project assignment. We had previously noted that the document is related to several projects. So, I could change the project assignment again here in the dialog. Here I see the preview for the generated file name. Up here you can then select the path to which you want to export. We click OK to export the file. Here you can see what the result looks like. So here is the exported file. Next to it you will see the XML file. The XML file is only interesting for serial import back to Helios. This contains a mapping between the name of the export file and the document master in Helios. If you want to import this part with the serial import, you have to specify this file for the assignment. This makes it clear which exported file name belongs to which document in Helios. Next I'll show you a small special case. We use the same settings we want to export via the attribute assignments. Here you can see that the document number contains in this case two special characters that are actually not allowed. Helios automatically converts this to underscores. This can be seen here. The slash and the question mark have been converted into two underscores behind the document number so that you can export the file. Otherwise Windows would refuse to create the file. Next I would like to show what it looks like if you also want to export reference documents from the document or model structure. We still have the attribute mapping. But if you choose OK, you can see that only the top assembly gets a generated file name. The sub-assemblies and individual parts that are within the assembly are given the Helios specific file name. Otherwise, the references in such an assembly would be lost. 
Therefore, for a referenced file that have a model and document structure, it's necessary to use the original file name so that the files do not become unusable after export. You also have the possibility of an individual assignment. I will also show this with an example. I can activate the individual assignment here. In the dialog mask, you have the corresponding fields. Here I insert individual file. Then I can select a directory up here. Then OK. Here you have the individual file name generation. Finally, a small example of how to handle arrows. For this, I take these two files that I want to export. They have the same document designation. To do this, I go to Export File and remove the old mapping. Now I want the file name to be derived from the document designation. If you now want to export via the attribute mapping, you can see here that the generated file name would be the same due to the same document designation. Therefore, it could not be created twice in directory. This means that you get an error message generated file name is not unique. And even when I choose OK, I get a meaningful error message that I need to fix this. Either you have to change the attribute assignment or the attribute values, or you have to assign individual file names to fix this error. The same possibilities also exist in the print dialog. For example, if you want to print a PDF file from a drawing via the Helios spooler, or when it comes to conversions, you have the same setting options for attribute assignment. From now on, article, project and folder attributes can also be used for the file name. That was it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.